When starting Monster Hunter Freedom Unite for iOS, it helps to know what you're getting into. It promises you the chance to bring down monstrous creatures in a fantasy equivalent of big game hunting, but it makes you work for every moment of enjoyment. Before heading into the field, you have to familiarise yourself with the basics. As a port of a PSP title, there are a lot of controls crammed onto your touchscreen. The result is an initially confusing mash of context-dependent virtual sticks, buttons and swipes that take some getting used to, but which prove no more cumbersome than the original controls. At its core, Monster Hunter is an action RPG. Rather than levelling up your character stats though, the focus is on your equipment. Beginning as a lowly hunter, you have to undertake missions from townsfolk to gain supplies and improve your gear. Tasks range from gathering herbs to stalking massive dragons. It is a slow, difficult, but rewarding crawl to greatness, as you use the bones and hides of monsters to construct better armours and weaponry. Though there are plenty of solo missions, the game really comes alive when you start entering online huts with up to three friends. Monster Hunter is designed around this cooperative experience, with many of the game's more esoteric design choices suddenly making sense when working as a team. The way the beautiful and varied environments are broken up into separate numbered sections suddenly clicks, with the numbers allowing you to instantly let your team know where you and your prey are located. The character classes also work better in combination. No single class is powerful in isolation, but teaming up with others, their potential is revealed. Tracking a huge dragon with a horn blower to provide buffs, a lancer to deal damage, a nimble double blade wielder, and a bowman encourages clever teamwork and makes your victories all the more satisfying. There is a flip side to this, however. The game's slow pace means games regularly take upwards of 20 minutes. This, combined with high demands on your battery, make Monster Hunter ill-suited to co-op gaming when you're out and about. It also gets tough when playing solo, and repeating missions is a lengthy process. Monster Hunter Freedom Unite for iOS can be brutal and unforgiving, but if you can find the right group to play with, there are few experiences on iOS as satisfying, provided you're prepared to put the work in. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.